COVID-19, a global public health crisis. That is how bad it is. Walang gadget at maayos sa internet connection para sa online classes. Classes will be suspended. Noise is everywhere. It causes confusion and misinterpretation. As a result, it is critical to sort audio data in the most efficient way possible by removing unnecessary noises. We created a program that can filter audio data by using Fast Fourier Transform. Fast Fourier Transform is a mathematical algorithm that calculates a sequence's discrete Fourier Transform. If one must ask, what can this program do for you? Remember the three P's. So, how does it work? Our program is written in Octave. So, to first start our program, we're going to launch it. Here, we're going to use CLR. So, launching the program. Wait for it. A few moments later. Okay, now that Octave is loaded, let's see if where in the directory we are. So, let's find our program. Our program is under the denoise folder here. So, let's change our directory and launch our program by just typing its name, denoise. So, let's open that and we now loaded the program. The program will then ask us to choose a file and open a dialog box. Here, our file is the noisy wave. The program accepts wave, FLAC, and OGG files for the audio files. So let's open that. It's now loaded. After loading the file, we are greeted with a figure. And the program now asks us to choose a threshold based on the figure. I'm assuming that our background noise are all these frequencies here, made up of these frequencies here. And our audio here, that signal we want, are these frequencies here. So we need to choose a value that will cut off all of this background noise here and just leave us with there. And from this figure, choosing a value between around 200 would be enough to remove the, those frequencies. So let's get back to the program and choose 200 as our threshold value. After entering that, we are also greeted with two more figures. Figure 2 and Figure 3. The filtered audio file are also saved now. And what's handy, we can also see the values of the filtered frequencies, which is 440 and 4660 Hertz. So let's check to the figures. In figure 2 here, we see the filtered frequencies, which, yes, is our intended frequencies. Let's also look at figure 3. Here's the plot of the signal of our audio file on a time versus amplitude basis. So this is how our original signal and here's our filtered signal after we have used the program. So let's try to see what they look like. Let's zoom further in. One zoom, two zooms. Yeah, it looks noisy and doesn't have order to it. For the filtered signal, from the get-go, you can see that it's ordered. If we zoom in further, it's a bunch, it's a sine wave. And the noise here has been cleaned off and transformed into this signal. And we can also look at our file here, the filtered. And let's play it. This is our filtered signal. And that's our original file. Fast Fourier Transform was a good method of denizing the task. Since the project succeeded in the test, we can see that it can be developed to more complex denoising programs in the future.